Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading and this is for Scorpio Ascendant. Sun Moon Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers still welcome. Cross Watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Scorpio, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you miss the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link, you'll be routed to my page, type in your questions, and then click submit. Scorpio, if you are into twin flame readings, almost personal readings, pick a card and channel messages. Please subscribe to the other channel, that is Timeless Tarot 111. So you may resonate with the entire reading, you may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading. Take it as you will. Take what only resonates. Um, I apologize if there's no video yesterday. I was sick. I'm getting a little better. Um, and it's my pleasure to send you your message for today. So Scorpio, you're going to cheer me up if you click the subscribe button. Smash that like button. Comment down below if you resonate with the reading. So let's begin. Ha, huh. you're thinking if your person, when, when will your person go in to ask for an apology? When will your person go in to work hard for this connection? When will your person accept the connection? When will your person accept you, you know, as their partner? Your soul here is giving up. Your mind is hopeful that there is ways um, for you to achieve what you want in the connection. So there is physical and energetic separations here. So for those new physical separation, your person might be in a different city, state, county, country, different continent, or you are in a long distance connection. Energetic separation is there's already a gap, you know, less communication, no communication. There's some fear in you to ask questions. There's also a fear in you to demand and offer again. You know, um, there is more. There is a lot more that you want to do in the connection. But because of fear, kind of like you're giving it slowly, right? What you truly want is the stability in the connection. Probably that's what you are thinking, right? How can I have stability with my person? Is it through manifestation you're going to get the highest form of the abundance? There's also something in you that you're blaming yourself here, right? Or probably that is what you're thinking. Should I deprive my person of my abundance, my affection, attention? You're holding back here. 
right? Um, and that's understandable because you're not getting what you deserve. Even I myself, if I am in a situation, right? If I'm not getting what I am giving, I'm going to stop what I'm doing. If this is a job, then you're overworked and undercompensated. I want to know why the universe is telling us that things will be okay. So let's draw some more cards here. Oh. There is a promise of cooperation from your person. Is the universe telling us that there will come to a time that your person going to be cooperative. I can sense here that your person is a little selfish, you know, getting what they needed, what they want. But depriving of depriving you of the abundance they keep collecting what they can get from you whether it is money whether it is your peace of mind I'm not sure you might be connecting with someone you know that's an energy vampire Ah, so I can sense a separation from this. Like, if you are already in separations now, that is the time wherein this person going to realize that I need my Scorpio back in my life. Mm. Because they're going to miss you. They're going to miss everything that you do to them. And that's the time that they will reach out and offer a victorious beginning. Your person might be in a limbo of, am I ready to commit? Um, am I old enough? So probably there is a, an age gap here. As of the moment, I can sense here that your person might be waiting for someone from the past. That's why they cannot give this entire commitment with you. It hurts because it felt like to me, as of the moment, you were part, you are, you know, a, um, a rebound. But I can sense that without them knowing, they are going to feel that their emotions getting deeper. There will be some realizations here in due time. That's why they will offer. So I can sense that this connection may not be really easy because of what you are experiencing right now. But it is also a promise that in due time, your wish 
will be fulfilled. A lot of challenges in this situation prior you getting what you needed and what you want in the connection. So this is your reading, Scorpio. If you resonate with this, comment down below. If you have some questions with the reading or personal questions, there's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions. Click submit. If you want to book a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. So cheer me up. Click the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment down below. This is your reading Scorpio. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.